Hey everybody, this is Therese Paler and you're watching another episode of Chiefs Daily. Well, right behind me you see Scanlon Hall, which is where all the Chiefs veterans are reporting because it's Veteran Report Day. So we saw Jeremy Macklin, we saw Anthony Sherman, all these guys came through um, and a few of them had some interesting things to say. Uh, I think the most interesting thing in particular was Tricandrick West talking about how much Eric Berry means to this team. Of course, um, it's not, Berry's not expected to arrive here. Uh, because of his unhappiness with a long-term deal. Uh, but check out what Sharkandrick said about what Eric's absence uh, what would mean. Uh, he's a leader. I mean, we know Eric, Eric is going to lead no matter where he is. I mean, we know what he expects of so He's going to be here with us at heart. We also got a chance to talk to starting right guard Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, who, as we know, is one of the most interesting players on the team. He's still a young guy. He's from Canada, and he's still learning to be a doctor. Um, apparently, he's taking some more steps toward becoming a doctor this offseason. Check out some video of uh, Laurent talking about that process. Yeah, I was actually back in Montreal. I did 50 shift of emergency medicine at the trauma center in Montreal. Uh, and, and I just closed that deal uh, a week ago, and uh, now my focus is on football. After the Super Bowl, I go back in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and I finish my four more months of med school and then I'm a doctor. All right, and finally, in the upcoming days, I'm going to definitely have a story about the state of the quarterback competition. Uh, I think right now between Tyler Bray, Aaron Murray, and Kevin Hogan, it's one of the most interesting situations we have there as far as position battles go. Now, it's possible the Chiefs could decide to add a veteran player to the mix, but if they don't, they're going to be leaning on one of these young guys. Uh, and I think if you, if you look at you know, the situation, Andy Reid is probably comfortable with that. Check out a few things Andy had to say about the quarterback situation. Oh, yeah, it's open. Yeah, no, it's wide open. You want to come out? Come on. Shoot. <laughs> As you get to see him play when they when they don't have the colored jersey on, so where they're, where they're live, uh, that gives you the best indicator uh, of what you're going to have. And um, and so I look forward to that. Here, things will be a little faster than they were. We're going to be in pads, and we will have live drills. They won't be live, but we'll have live drills, so things will be faster. And... Um, and, and there will be a rush on them uh, that gets close, and, but, but again, they're, they're not live. But I look forward to seeing them in the games. I look forward to seeing them in these practices. Every rep they get is going to help them. Now, as we know right now, Tyler Bray is the number two guy, but Aaron Murray's still in the mix. Bray outperformed him in OTAs, but if Aaron Murray can find a way to brush up on his accuracy some, I think that really help, help his bid. Check out Aaron talking a little bit about the things he's done over the last month to work on his accuracy. Yeah, I uh, still got to work on. We worked on definitely this past month. Worked on some some technique things, uh, changing some stuff up, and feeling really good right now. So hopefully, um, you know, I get to demonstrate that come practice tomorrow. You did that on your own over the last month. Yeah, you know, just between myself and I've. Uh, it's it's nice living in Atlanta. I got a bunch of receivers from Georgia who come back in the off season. So about four or five guys. Uh, few times a week able to go out there and throw and, and, and work on some stuff. Who helped you tweak the mechanic part? Uh, my, my trainer. Uh, a couple of hip things, a couple of back things, able to uh, work on rotation a little bit more. Um, you know, you just be more fluid with the throw and less stiff. So. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, as always, continue to go to KansasCity.com for all your Chiefs news. For The Star, I'm Therese Paler signing off. See you later.